got everything going. Let me get my computer up here. Laptop also going on. Is anybody there with me? Yes, yes, yes. I hope so. There we go. I am hoping. Oh my goodness. Yes. Now let me move my. Oh my uh, goodness. Yes, let's get me. this voice off. Hello, hello, hello. How is everybody doing? I am here and we are going to do more beach inspired stuff. Yes. Okay, so look at this, this little situation I have here going. My faux doors. Okay, so I've had a lot of questions about my Ford faux, my faux doors. So I want to show you real quick what is in here. This is a box. Hello, hello, Annie. Hello, Joy. How are you? You're gonna like this class. Oh, it's so cute. Okay beach inspired class today. I am not wearing my bikini. No, no, no. That was only a one-time thing. <laughs> Hello, Joy. How are you? Hello, Mabel. Okay, so this box comes from Walmart. Uh, I saw it at my little bitty Walmart, and it's also online. Uh, it's kind of a sturdy uh, box. It has like chipboard or something like that in here, and it is usually two pieces. So, my normal boxes are two pieces like this, okay? And here is where the accordion part is, and it folds down like so, and it flattens out. So, it ends up looking like this, okay? And I have gotten the scissors on it, fabric scissors, not our pretty scissors, and I cut in between here, okay? Just a super ugly rough cut i did not do anything special okay you can see i didn't stitch it i didn't put any of that stuff that you do for hymns and all that wonderful stuff i am not hello sharon how are you I, I did not put anything in here special look hot glue rough cut that's all that's on this spot but it needs to be on there with hot glue so that it holds the chipboard into this little piece okay and the bottom part I just completely cut off. That also had another chipboard. Hello, Mabel Knight, how are you? So that little piece right there used to have a nice thick chipboard. Uh, it kind of was like a chipboard rubbery chipboard, if that makes any sense. Hello, Annie, how are you? I haven't spoken to Annie, what, in more than 24 hours? Has it been that long, Annie? <laughs> Uh, this is the part that is on the inside of my, uh, let's call this here. This is what that looks like on the inside. And I have cut it and made it look pretty. All it is is hot glue. You can see this mess of hot glue that I have in here. It is not very pretty, okay? It is just a quick, fast. I didn't really think this was going to work when I started doing this. And I kind of pushed that little flap here in between all of the paper so that it holds it in that's pretty much all that is in there holding it I didn't tape it down I didn't do anything hello Beth hello candy I always call her Beth but she's candy and uh, that is what this inside looks like so if you want to do something like this you need hot glue you need these boxes that have the hard kind of chipboard inside I got mine at Walmart but I know they have them at Ikea and they have them at all lovely places hello Pam how are you uh, so that is what my box looks like from the inside okay and then when I put it in this little flap goes into uh, I put the paper in there and then a little uh, plastic uh, it kind of looks like this one of these little plastic dividers I know that we can also use the dollar store um, Oh, what are they called? Cutting uh, boards. I use that a lot for dividers. They have really uh, nice, big, cheap cutting boards that are good for dividers, okay? And then this part sits there, and this extra little flap here is going to go into the other side here, okay? So here we have this little piece in there, the big part, and then here I kind of just wiggle it into that spot. There it is. So here's the door very faux like door okay and then it's going to go in to this other piece just like that 
super easy, super easy. Uh, I, I don't even remember how much I paid for those things. Maybe six bucks, maybe? I, I'm not even sure. But hello, hello, hello. Uh, it is just a way to keep, I, I just don't like all of this stuff. I, I, it bothers my brain. I have a little case of OCD. It bothers me a little bit and I prefer it to be all uniform and not have the sporadic different kinds of papers and everything. Oh, I am pretty in pink. Thank you very much. That is cute. I am in pink today. I, uh, this is like a, uh, what is it? Very hot. It's hot, hot, hot in Texas. I do have to say we need to get on with our class because we have a three o'clock appointment on Facebook. Okay, so you have to go to my page, Martha paper crafting with the gold Rolodex okay the gold Rolodex uh, you uh, can go in and say that you're uh, my friend or something like that oh no Martha is frozen already okay we are going to have problems with the internet today um, because it is extremely hot and we are losing power on a regular basis we are losing power so I'm so glad candy that you have power in your space uh, but we have a big possibility to lose power. Hey, leave me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'm so happy that you do that for me. I need to show you my layout. And then we're going to go at 3 o'clock to Facebook uh, room. Hey, Dina, how are you? I haven't seen you all week. Um, so we're going to go to Facebook room and crop together. It's kind of like a Zoom. They're competing with Zoom is what I understand. And we can see each other. Yay! I'm so excited. Hello, Sonia. How are you? Oh, Susie. I'm sorry. Susie Campos. Hey, how are you? I'm so glad you're here with me. Uh, Roncia is there also with me. Yay! Okay, so uh, that is the plan. We're starting our class. We're going to go Fast and Furious. And then we're going to go to Facebook uh, Live. Create a room. It's in a room under my Martha's Paper Crafting group. There is three different Martha Frischnecks. There's Martha, the private place for me and for you, all of my dear friends. And then there's a business page that I think is blue. Uh, and then there's a gold Rolodex and that's the one you want to go in, the gold Rolodex, okay? That is where you will see us create a room and we can see each other. Okay, I'm going to move this down so we can see each other. And uh, I, I am extremely happy that we're able to do that and talk to each other and see each other because it gets us warmed up for Create 9, right? We're going to start seeing each other for Create 9, so now we're going to really uh, know each other before that ever even happens. I'm moving this down now so we can get started. And I'm going to show you the page. It is speech inspired. Yes, it is. Okay, let me move this down and right here. And then hold on tight. We are going to spin you so that uh, I'm hoping that you're on the right side of this situation here. So we are looking at a beach inspired layout. It looks like this. Okay. Let me show you the pages. Excuse me. I'm reaching over, reaching over. Okay. So I want to say that these come from Annie. Uh, these are beach inspired vintage paper. Is that not so pretty? It kind of uh, has like a creamy yellow lemon color and this gorgeous bamboo that has a green in it. A little bit different from the Big Monster Palm Trees, but we are also using the Big Monster Palm Trees. Four by six is, uh, four by 12 is what this is, okay? And then this little loveliness right here is the blue metallic. And then this paper right here. Okay, I'm showing you the papers. I know you may not have the same papers because these are vintage, but we have similar papers and we're just gonna make it work. Hello, Nancy, how are you? I am so happy that you're there with me. Hey, how are you? Uh, so, hello, La Frances, my dear friend. This is what this is coming from, okay? And then this loveliness is a circle, and I don't have it anymore. I used to have like two or three, but I, I made them into circles. So that was another question that I had. I had um, lots of people tell me they have these big pre-made doilies. They're big pre-made doilies, 
uh, they're either a full doily or they have more doilies inside and we want to know what to do with these doilies. So that was my inspiration on how to get this page started. Started with this doily, like you guys remember last week, I had the same doily and I only used the little bottom of the doily. You see where the doily is? It's right underneath this little wave right there. So you can do that also. Just because it's a circle doesn't mean you can cut off an inch of it. You make little scallop cuts into it so that you can straighten it out. And that is where we used our first part of our doily, okay? And uh, then that's it here. And then we found another delicious page. Oh, there it is from Francesca. And it is this one right here, Francesca. You have these, Pamela, uh, the full set. I'm looking to see if uh, anonymous Facebook person, uh, Facebook make burner email was recommendation. Uh, interesting. I don't know what that means. Um, uh, Candy, I, Candy, okay, so we kind of figured out that we need to be on iPhones or iPads or a laptop, desktop, when you go into the create, the room, the Facebook room. Uh, we need to be able to be uh, compatible with that. And for some reason, the Android uh, phones do not, uh, aren't compatible for some reason. Uh, so that's the first thing that we need to do. Here's the circle that I was telling you about that we cut a little trim off. Here is a paper called Francesca. I absolutely love it. And no, it is not beach inspired, but guess what? We're going to make it beach inspired because I pleated it. Uh, what did we call this? Is this a, the box pleat? No, that is not the box pleat. It is a squirt. Is it a squirt? Um, let's make sure. Fancy fold smocked, not a squirt, a smock. This is the smock page, and I can show you maybe from the back a little bit better. Here is, uh, it's uh, five little pleats, and then it's a bigger inch and a half, and then five little pleats. One, two, three, four. Four little pleats. One, two, three, four. Four little pleats, and then uh, the long one an inch, and one and a half inch, and then you smock. And so then it kind of makes a little natural circle. And that's what I was looking for, a natural circle. So I went with the smock fancy folds. Okay. There we go. There's that one. Okay. So, uh, that's the first tip, right? Just because it's floral doesn't mean we can't make it beachy because we're going to make it beachy. Yes, we are. Whether we like it or not. And it's our paper. It's our, uh, layout. Why can't we make it be whatever we want it to be? Maybe we have to make a Canton Bleu also beachy. I don't know. I, I just think that we should be able to do uh, whatever we want to with it, right? It's our paper. So I am turning on more light. I feel like we don't have enough sunlight. Is that craziness in this room? Uh, so we are going to get with this part. Now on top of this uh, layout, I found also, let me find the paper that was with it. It was stripes. You know how many stripes we have in our collection. It was this one that goes to this side. I'm sure I have some of it around here somewhere. Here it is. Here, okay, so I have this page. This is lovely, okay? This is lovely. It. I think it is supposed to go with this gorgeousness here, but it's not very beachy if you ask me. Moving this down, let's see if we have that in the right spot. I'm making sure you can see the entire thing. Not just me. You don't need to see me. Let's see. Uh, so, Cantorn Blue Beachy, why not, right? Sounds good. We just take move the ginger jars out of the way. Uh, and I think it'll be okay. So, on this one, I decided, I wanted to make it into ruffles first. You know, horizontal, out of vertical, little ruffles, pleats. Uh, but I kind of changed my mind when I was working with it. And look at what I did with it. Here it is. Okay, it is an outline. Isn't that just so pretty? I just love it. Striped awnings would be awesome also. Uh, I 
I love the idea of that for a gorgeous uh, tent, a tent, an umbrella, like a little umbrella, right? And you can make your little uh, umbrella with it. Yes, so here is, an awning would be lovely with that. Uh, I, I love, love, love that idea, yes. And so I ended up making it into a picture frame. So on this one, it's gonna be a double page. And so we need to do the part that goes with it. And I did one and I'm showing you the other one. First things first, I have to make sure that this is the right way to stand it up. And I'm going to add a little wet glue for this. Just a tiny bit, not too much at all, just to kind of hold this in place. Is that the right way up? Oh, this, this has, look at that. This has the tag so I know exactly what the top and the bottom is. How silly. Okay, so I just put a little bit of wet glue on here and I'm putting this down. Make sure, this looks dark for me, but I'm hoping you guys can see okay. And so we are having some, uh, okay, now let me show you. I'm putting glue on the part that is not going to get mitered. This part I'm gonna miter, so I'm not putting glue on it. Okay, and here, we have to do it this way. This way, this way, this way, this way, this way, this way. Let's see here and here. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so here's this little piece that goes on here. And then I have, you know that there's a trick to mitering just absolutely perfect uh, corners. And I'm going to show you another one and I'll bring this in. I got my scissors and I'm only going to cut the top one. Only the top one, the bottom one stays right where it's supposed to stay. And I just do one easy snip. One easy, fast, quick little snip and that is it right there, okay? I'm making sure I have the right part up and down. And then here's the same thing here, okay? I am going to miter this corner so I don't want glue on it. And I really just want a little tiny bit of glue on here. I don't need very much, much. So uh, we are having extreme heat uh, issues here and we have already lost power today. So I apologize ahead of time. Um, I, 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 we have a generator, but we don't have a generator for the internet. Isn't that sad? Okay, so easy, super easy. You look to see where you're going to cut it. You just cut and straight down, okay? And you're going to have to kind of make it work, okay? If you kind of want a little bit more, then cut a little bit more. There you go. Look how easy that is. And it's always going to match because there's paper underneath this side. So it's gonna be fine. And you're also going to be able to put embellishments on it. So if you uh, don't like the way it sits, then it's gonna be fine because we're gonna do embellishments on it. Okay, so here is our layout. Let me see, I'm not, I feel like I'm not straight with you guys. Let's see. That's the easiest way to just miter. To miter a simple little corner, just one side gets cut and that's it. And look, if it's not absolutely perfect, it's gonna be okay. Nobody's even gonna notice, notice, not even. Okay, so we have our bases down. Here's our base. And now, here's our half circles. Let me show you how I've been doing that. And there should be one more little piece to this half circle around here somewhere. Let's look and see where it's at. This is the smock. Here it is. You see, I, I, I have things ready for you guys this time around. Okay, so the smock, I did two. Uh, let's make sure I tell you the right size of this. One and a half. So this is a one and a half by 12. Okay, this is the smocked fancy fold border. It is about an inch and then it has four one quarter inch little folds and then another inch and a half and then four folds, okay? That's how you do the smock. You don't have to have the fancy fold. You just have to have 
patience to fold it, okay? And then I want it to be in a circle and the smock is perfect for circles. It is a natural circle. So think about that when you have a circle you want to uh, embellish. Okay, and then I went around it and yes, I fell in love with Francesca. I saw the colors that we were working with and I thought, gosh, they're not perfect, but they kind of kind of looks like they were in the same color line, you know, color timing. They were made at the same time. So I turned these into one whole page into little strips. Here you can see the strip. And I want to say this is also one and a half inch. Yes, it's one and a half inch. Ran it through the uh, smock fancy fold and you start to fold. And, and it's so easy. It's just an easy way to fold and there you go. And that's it. You put a little glue in between these and that's it. There's your little smock. And that's why it turns into kind of a circle because you have one spot pinched and the other one not. Okay, here is that. And then we added it to the actual doily. I cut the doily in half and I measured to see where I wanted the doily to sit, okay? It's going on top of all this gorgeous borders, okay? If I change my mind later, I'll cut it, but for right now, it's going on top, okay? And uh, I kind of thought that's where I wanted it to sit. I wanted it to be in the 12 inch space, and so this part is way smaller than the part down here. Does that make sense? Because you can't go wider than the 12 inch part. I mean, you can, but you'd just be cutting it off eventually, right? So here is where we are. I put this in to hide just barely the little four little holes or scallops that are in here. And then I went around it. And it gives you, by having two 12 inch marks, you will have a little piece that is kind of uh, left over or not quite even. And so I made another little cut right here. And this is when we come in and kind of tweak it, okay? So that you kind of make it work. So here is the normal one and I'm going to cut off little pieces here. All of these gorgeous little pieces, I'm asking you to hold on to them because they're going in my pretty trash and we are going to use it for some kind of project. I haven't thought about what project we're using it for yet, but I am reserving pretty trash. I know, that sounds crazy. Okay, so now I'm going to put a little bit of wet glue on here and I'm just barely going to cover up the little dot that is here. And then I'm bringing, just I added a little bit of glue, and then I'm bringing these little pieces of flaps to fit into that space. Okay. And here. I'm adding a little bit of glue. And then you, I'm looking at this from the reverse side so we can kind of see and match these little pieces up. gives you a little bit of time to work with since we're using wet glue. Okay, right there. And then I'm doing the same thing on this side. A little bit of wet glue. I am super excited to see you guys in the Facebook rooms. It is a work in progress. I uh, am not an IT person, but it looks like we can uh, meet each other and see each other. And I thought uh, a natural time to meet would be right after this class. So we're doing it today at three o'clock, three to four to kind of hang out. And um, as time goes on, maybe we need to start making different time frames, but I thought today would be a good time to do that and practice, okay? I'm not saying we're doing anything super special, 
but I'm hoping that we can practice a little bit. So here is our circle, okay? And uh, now we have two circles. They're gonna sit like this, okay? And now we have two of these. They should be four by sixes somewhere. And now let's look and see how we want the leaf to sit. This is gonna have pictures on top of it, okay? So don't, don't go crazy on how you want things to look or to be, uh, which one is upside down and which one is not, because uh, we're gonna put pictures on top of it. But here is the original paper, okay? So you can see that the original paper is this one. Yep, this one, it goes right there. And then this one, the original paper is right here. So this one goes right there. So here are the bottoms of the papers. And so now what I want to do is show you this cute little box pleat that I made. Okay, I did two of these because you know we can't just have one ruffle. That's not gonna happen here. We're going to make compound embellishments. That is the name of the, the, the plan. The, the plan is always to just keep going and adding more and more and more because why not? That's that's exactly correct, why not? So I did a box pleat with this gorgeous little blue. It kind of has like little flowers on it. I think we've had this in different colors. Let me show you the original one. It says, 2021, oh, I have to find my magnifying glass. Uh, 2021, all rice reserved Anna Griffin ink. So there you go, this is 2021. It's not that old. It's not necessarily vintage or antique, right? But it has that pretty perfect color that matches so pretty with the blues in this, uh, in the ivy or the ivy, the palm trees. So I made two of them. They got kind of wavy, so I added them onto a chipboard so I can work with them a little bit better. And my plan on this was to add it like this right? But then you know I have to add something else. So I went and got the paper we saw earlier that is this zigzaggy and uh, this, I don't know, it doesn't have a date on it, but I think Annie told me it's from Alex um, is where this one I think is from. So I cut it into this little rounded one and I'm kind of, and then I added the metallic blue I think that's just the color of water or the water that I would like to be near is the color of blue. So I'm kind of thinking that that would be a good plan. And we would chat live. We, we are going to chat live in a Facebook room uh, under Martha's Paper Crafting with a gold Rolodex picture. I know. <laughs> okay, so this is what's next on this part, okay? Here is the uh, em the embellishment, and then we're gonna put it on top. And here is the bottom. And I'm going to use uh, the big pink one. And here, we're gonna have this all laying down flat. So if if you need to add more, or if you think that you need to add stronger glue, then that's perfectly okay. So now I have this one here. I'm making sure you can see me. Yep. And uh, we're going to add this part. And I'm kind of starting from the middle because um, this is a little bit crooked. So, and by crooked, I mean, you see how that blue is a little bit different and I didn't want too much peeking out. I was gonna plan on covering this top portion. So I didn't want too much peeking out. Just like that. I want these little triangles covered. Okay. I know I'm having a hold your mouth moment. I can't hold my mouth and go straight and talk at the same time. I'm, I'm not there yet. Okay, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Pretty, 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 pretty. Okay, let's do that one more time. The bottom is here. That's where our little name tag is. This one says 2007. 2007, yes. 
This is the 2007 Beach Inspired. I uh, think that this one was uh, called Tropical. Did we say it was called Tropical? The whole entire collection? I'm not sure. Pamela Densmore, how are you? How is your world today? Frogs? Any frogs around there? <laughs> that want to go swimming with you, Pam? <laughs> oh, that's funny. I, 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 yeah, we have a pond that is like frogging all over the place, and we just kind of keep it to the side and we leave them there, let them be, and, um, and use the other pond to fish and to play in. Okay, here we go. There it is, okay? Now, if we're using a, a die, that little triangle, then when we put these together, these should be just about the same, okay? Because that's where your hinge of your book is gonna be at. Okay, so now we need to add the second ruffle to this. Okay, aren't you guys glad that I like did this folding mess beforehand? Because that's that's a lot to do. So the same thing, I think because this is a little heavier, I need to use heavier glue. So I'm going with, with uh, score tape on this. And we're gonna go there. And I don't know what kind of score tape this is. It's no brand, so I'm assuming generic. And I uh, think that that came from Scrap Shack. I love that place. I'm going to be at Scrap Shack in February at their uh, crop that they have in Friendswood. Uh, go sign up, please. Friendswood, Texas, on the south side of the world, uh, south side of Texas, and going towards uh, Galveston. And they put on a really nice crop. It like starts on Thursday, and it's really nice because the banquet hall, we, we stay in the huge banquet hall, and you just get a room upstairs, and you can go up and down whenever you want. Okay, so here is our box pleat ruffle. Isn't that going to be so cute? So you can make it as big as you want. I don't think we can go that big because we also have this one to put on and this page. So let's see how big we're going. Here's our, our half plate. Here's the next one. just like that okay that's how I think I want it to sit it just looks so pretty yes I think I want that to be on top of it so we'll fix that later I'll show you okay let's go with this one and we're going to uh, slowly take this little part off let's see tell me something Martha you're so creative oh candy you're so sweet uh, I am just here, just here, okay, and I'm kind of moving this little thing in, okay. So I'm pulling this up. I'm going to sit this kind of where I want it to sit, just about there. How about we say that? I do use the lines on this uh, board because it does help keep things straight. I'm not saying I, my goal is not to keep it as straight as possible because I know that that would drive me crazy. So here we are there, that line there. Right there I think is the right spot. And so I hope that you guys are on my uh, Facebook Thing. I will be looking to see if I have to add members before three o'clock but I am here alone please 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 I am so sorry I uh, can't get to everybody's questions right this minute um, but we're gonna test it out I'm really excited because we have a lot of fun plans going on I really think we have a lot of really fun things that we can do together now that we can see each other in uh, a way that uh, isn't costing um, too much money on any side. 
but uh, you guys are going to like this little Facebook room. It's not as fancy as the ballrooms that we play in at Create, uh, but it's uh, really fun to be able to see each other, or else for me it's really fun. Uh, because I don't have to, oh, we have a luau going on, yes. Uh, we don't have to um, uh, see each other. Okay, let's do the exact same thing to this other side. And uh, I think that'll be fun to do the exact same thing on this side as well. And again, heavy duty score tape. Uh, I think I misspoke, I'm not sure. Uh, hey Eve, how are you? Did I did I say uh, the wrong word? I'm feeling like I said something wrong, but it's okay. It'll be fine. Facebook rooms is where we're going, and we'll be able to visit with each other. And uh, you guys, I'll be able to see your sweet little face, and I'm super excited because I don't want to be the only one talking. Uh, we can have a real conversation because we're in person. It's really nice. Okay, so now again, use this as your template that if you go here, you know, it's about the same height, same thing. So here, we're lifting that little part up and then I will put this down. And don't worry about it being absolutely perfect perfect because uh, you know that there's going to be a hinge in between so uh, perfect perfect doesn't have to uh, happen because there's a hinge that's going to be right in the middle so if we just get it kind of roundabout the same that's the goal that is the goal to be roundabout the same so that it doesn't look lopsided when you have it in your scrapbook and then I'm going to move it to the other side. You see here, we kind of put these two blue ones, light blue ones together. And then you kind of move this up and down to kind of hold. And then you can pull on this back part to kind of push things down a little bit. Oh, we're tearing. There we go. And pull that little piece out. Okay, so now, guess what? We have a compound embellishment, a border. It has three pieces, the box pleat, the shadow, and the top of the die. And then here is where you're going to put your lovely pictures at, okay? And I have pre-made these darling little uh, corners that have the blue underneath and that little... Um, this one on top, and I use the turnaround corners that I have right here, this itty bitty cute one, because I just thought it needs a little something something. I'm missing, I, you know, I'm a corner person. I like corners, I like bows, and so not having a corner was bothering me. Okay, so now let's bring this one here, okay? And then we have this one here, and you see this is gonna go on top. And we're going to adjust where, how much of that green bamboo paper do you want to see? Do you see what I mean? I kind of like this on top. Okay, just like that. What do you think? I'm liking it. Uh, so here is where I'm going to put things down at. I think I like that just the way it is. So we're gonna use this one, we're gonna do this one first. And again, I'm going to use score tape because this one looks like it's gonna be a challenge to keep it down and doing whatever it's supposed to be doing, right? And I'm going up from this part so we know that that is where we want it to go. And here I used glue, so there's no coming back from that, okay? Be sure that you want to put things down when you use glue. Uh, we'll just find another way to do it if we want to do it, okay? So here on this side, we're gonna pull up on the score tape, enough that we make a little tail to pull on both sides. Here we go, all right? And 
I'm looking at this, putting it down on the 12, and I can see that I'm almost at that seven mark, and I think that's a good spot. If I move down a little bit to this actual seven, right there. And then over here, it's on 18 on this side. I know, the rulers are not the same. And a little bit up higher. And you can kind of pull on this because it's vintage paper, it's very delicate. You're gonna rip. So if you want to pull up, you need to make sure you pull up correctly. Okay, right here is my spot. And I'm adding it to the 18, a little bit higher. Right there. And I'm pulling on this. And I am not necessarily squishing down the the pretty little smock of this. I'm gonna leave it alone. It's gonna smush where it wants to smush on the, uh, in the book, okay? So now let's do the exact same thing to this. And in order to do the exact same thing to this side, we're gonna use a little pencil mark. Okay, right there. And then on this side, right there. Okay, so now we have again, this gets really repetitive because it's the same thing, but this is how you can make tons of layouts just by changing up a little bit of your layout. You can make more pages if you're in a fast speeding kind of uh, way, you wanna go, 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 then that is how you go. Use a, use a bunch of these, get them going, do some repetitive areas, and you can turn your page, instead of the, this little smock being laying down, then we can, um, okay, I, this is the hinge, so I need to make sure that I'm on the mark of the hinge right there. And then over here, we're going right there. And we're gonna pull on this. And then we're gonna pull on this side. There we go. That makes it a lot easier because we were able to just copy from this side. And now we have our embellishments already ready to go. So it is 2.46, 15 minutes till we go to our Facebook Live. Please leave me a thumbs up. Uh, please, please, please uh, subscribe. I so appreciate it. Okay, so here is our part we're going to add. And I'm just going to leave a little peekaboo up on top. I think that we need something heavy on this side to hold everything intact. Like that, I think, would be a good idea. So I'm going to use, again, score tape because I want it to, to not move. I, and you know, if you're afraid things are gonna move, and I love the part about sneaking the little piece out so that we stay straight. These little tails give you a little bit of, of wiggle room. Now, if you want this little part to be more wiggly, you just have to kind of make these little pieces. You kind of put it on your skin or on your fabric of your clothes and it will make it a little bit less sticky just for you to kind of get some wiggle room on there, okay? And make your tails hanging out. And we are going to go in and put a little bit. So this uh, layout tells you, you don't wanna put your favorite type of paper underneath because guess what it all got covered up isn't that always the truth covering up everything okay sorry my showing you what I'm doing here there we go okay now we can hold this down and put this down with a little wet glue because this is a little chipboard 
and we can go do uh, wet glue right on top of it. There we go. And press and hold. And let's work on our other page while this one dries. And yes, I like to use clothespins for this reason right there. Okay, let's do the exact same thing over here. And we were using score tape on top. And we're gonna do the same thing over here. We're gonna use this one and put it, put it right up to each other, okay? And we're going to put a little pencil mark right where it needs to be at. Just like that. Sorry, sorry, I hit the, the, the camera stand, sorry. Okay. And same thing over here, lift up these little tails. I am so sorry I moved the camera, hit it with my head, because sometimes I stand and sometimes I sit, but right this minute I'm standing. Again, if you need this to be not so sticky, put it on your clothes, put it on uh, something that makes the stickiness kind of go away right here. You are so sweet, Annie. Look at this. Okay, so here we are holding this up and we are going to put that right where that little pencil mark is. It was right under it. And then over here, we have to bring that up over on this side and pull. And pull. There we go. And remove your little pencil marks. Uh, you know, these pencil marks, they're not even gonna be there. They're not even, it's not even. Okay, lovelies, we are going to meet on Facebook uh, at three o'clock. Hey, Judy, how are you? Uh, and we're gonna glue this part down now. It's almost time. I am so excited. Three o'clock. Uh, there we go. And hold these little things down. There we go. Okay, and this little smocky stuff is gonna get smushed when you're in the book. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Okay, so what do we have? We have twin pages. Look at this. Okay, uh, my, my mess is not completely right. There we go. Now you can see me. I am so sorry about that. Okay, so here is our page layout. Okay, I personally will will want to come in and put the strip over this uh, part here, but maybe it won't bother me later. Maybe it will. Uh, I need a I need tons of embellishments on here, don't you? Uh, I need tons of embellishments. I need a bunch of little um, seashells. And I think that the seashells here going down maybe would be really fun to see. Uh, maybe up here, a nice big title. And down here, the date tag, because you know I love a date tag. Hey, 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 hi, Candy, how are you? Uh, three o'clock at Facebook, okay? Yes, a, like a luau party, is that what we're having? Yes, we are having a Facebook luau party. Uh, leave me a thumbs up subscribe please thank you and i'm going to meet you at three o'clock over at the facebook live come over and meet us it's going to be so much fun to see your sweet little faces i am so excited because it has worked we have done it about three times i'm gonna uh, uh spin you around so i can talk to you <laughs> spin you around so i can talk to you okay so three o'clock we're going to go continue this class and finish it up on Facebook uh, Live. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm all crooked and everything. I apologize. I do not have camera people. I do not have a crew uh, to help. 
but love the page it can work anyway so so I love this because it's a circle and you are looking at uh, doing maybe a, a, this circle thing could be in the middle this could the pictures can be vertical and you can stand them up in this direction or you can uh, put the circles you know like uh, side by side you know make a whole full circle in the middle it works in so many ways what I'd like to teach you is just a technique and then I want you to run with it because that's what I think we we need to be doing uh, using your own flavor of stuff and look is that floral Francesca pretty at the bottom as a little smock I I, I think so maybe you don't like Francesca how can you not like Francesca I don't know I want to wear Francesca right <laughs> I would love to wear Francesca I don't think she's my size though look there's nothing yeah there's not gonna work but hey come see me on Facebook I'm gonna go into the book into the book into the live room now so come and see me I will see you next week two o'clock um, now, I have tons of DIYs happening with my house next door. I don't have contractors here today, so that's why I am thinking that today was a perfect day to do this. But please uh, bear with me. If things change, I will let you know. That's why I love for you guys to be uh, my Facebook friend so that I can have somewhere to contact you outside of, uh, of YouTube. Let's go finish up this page on Facebook at room live. Okay. I'll see you later. Bye. Thank you.